Welcome to the highest working farm in the southwest, living here at a time when we were making our life by trying to break world records, crossing South Pole, North Pole, Antarctica, the Arctic, the Northwest Passage, going for anything which none of our rivals, like the Norwegians, had been able to do. My late wife, Jenny, 38 years, anyway, she, from here, decided on her school six-inch globe that we could do what nobody had done, which was to go around Earth vertically without flying. 52,000 miles involving things which had not been done, like crossing Antarctica, bigger than America, and with 900 miles of it totally unexplored back then. But in each case, Arctic, Northwest Passage, and the Antarctic, each case we had an eight month period of darkness living in a tiny hut under the snow with two other people. It was quite difficult from time to time. Uh, my wife had a pet Jack Russell Terrier, Bothy, and that little dog was a huge help, really. Just playing ball and I was up one end of the cardboard hut under the snow for eight months of darkness uh, with my wife. The two guys on the expedition were up the other end of the hut with the Jack Russell and you could hear the barking sort of going on. But for eight months, we just had to learn how to be patient. And to give lessons on how to be patient is something I wouldn't dare to even try and do, but I know it's worth trying.